So I was sitting here going over my budget and I was actually reading, I will teach you to be rich. And I realized that I haven't told y'all how I organize my finances. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how I organize my finances. Let's get right into it. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Nikki and on this channel, I share fashion and finance content, teaching you how to manage your finances without sacrificing style. But in today's video, it's a finance video and I want to actually tell you how I basically organize my money. So I start off with automatic drafts, I guess you would say. These automatic drafts are like priorities in my life. I prioritize um, my retirement and my investing. So the first thing that comes out of my paycheck before money is even deposited into my banking account is retirement. Now, I do not set this amount. I have no control over this amount. My job just actually takes this amount out of my paycheck depending on how much money I make per year. So anytime that I get a raise, this amount is pretty much going to go up. The next thing um, that comes out of my paycheck is investing. It's something similar to a 401k. I do have complete control over this. I tell it what percentage or what amount I want taken out of my paycheck. And right now I'm at the basic plan because at the at that time I was actually prioritizing my savings and, you know, putting enough money towards a down payment on a house. Now that I have the house, I want to maximize my thrift savings and I'm going to bump it up. But right now, currently I'm doing 3% of my income and my job is matching 1%. Now, as I was reading, this book and just you know looking over um his social media accounts and things like that i realized that he wants you to you know get the most of the company's match so the most that my company match is five percent so i want to at least bump up my thrift savings plan up to five percent so that way i'm getting a five percent match from my company instead of the one percent that i'm actually getting right now now it comes to where money is actually starting to be deposited into my banking accounts. Now, how I have my money organized is that I have two checking accounts and I have two savings accounts. Each one of these, basically each one of these checking accounts has a savings account attached to it. So my first checking account, I have a set amount going over there for the bills and expenses. The reason why I have a set amount going over there for the bills and expenses is because I know how much it costs to actually run this household. And if anything was to happen with my income i know that this is the way i actually need to like you know to make it if i have to cut out like my fun spending my going out to eat and those type of things it's like my necessities goes into this particular account and that's fifteen hundred dollars that i actually put over there the next account that I fund is my savings account. This is attached to the same account that I have with my bills and expenses. This actually is my savings account and I put $250 every single time that I'm paid. The reason why I'm doing $250 every single time that I'm paid is because I have a savings goal at the end of the year of $6,500. Now, usually I change my savings goal and just do my, or start my new year to be quite honest, start my new year around my birthday. My birthday is October 25th. So I will be changing that all around because next year I want to more so focus on growing my savings all over again, because I did spend a whole lot of money, you know, on a down payment on a home. And I want to like basically get that emergency fund back, you know, funded at an amount that I would be more comfortable with. The next account is a checking account for my fun spending or my guilt-free, as he would call it, and I will teach you to be rich, my guilt-free spending account, and that's whatever is remaining over from the paycheck. So once my retirement account is funded, once my thrift saving plan or investing is funded, then my household bills and expenses is funded, and my personal savings is funded, whatever I have left from that paycheck actually goes to a uh, guilt-free spending account and within that guilt um within that guilt-free spending account and that savings account is where i actually save for different items so it may be sneakers it may be clothing it may be um traveling it may be a certain item i actually want in that particular savings account i actually save for different items so whatever i have left over actually goes into that checking account and then i just separate that money into that savings account and then kind of like keep track of it on cash envelopes i showed y'all that in my um, previous 
this video where I do those cash envelopes and I just write it down and see, you know, where I'm at with the goals and stuff like that. And that's pretty much how I organize my money. Now, I'm not saying that this is the correct way or the wrong way or whatever, but it has really been working for me. And as I continue on reading, I will teach you how to be rich. It may change over time because, yeah, who don't want to be rich? I know I want to be rich. I want to live a rich life. And that's what he actually teaches you on here. I love the fact that it says no guilt, no excuses, no B. It's just a six week program that works. So I'm all for this. And I will be coming back to just give my review each week on this. I will teach you to be rich in the next six weeks. I will be doing that over on my Instagram. Actually, I will be going live every single Sunday. Um, just, you know, giving you an update on that. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and just chime in on the conversation, I would love to have you over there. But make sure you check out this previous video where I show you how I budget my paycheck and I will see you there.